contest is scheduled for four rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing first the boxing on the blue court to my left. He's wearing blue trunks with white trim. A veteran of both the World Series of Boxing and Boston Boxing Promotions. He hails from Tales Cala, Mexico originally, but now calls Big Bear, California his home. Ladies and gentlemen, Julio Avila! And his opponent, standing directly across the ring, fighting out of the way for the Chihuahua round. He's wearing blue shirts with gold trim. This round is perfect. Five wins, zero defeats, three big wins by way of the round. He comes to us from the City of Champions, Rocky, Massachusetts. Kevin Walsh certainly sold a lot of tickets tonight. There are a lot. I've traveled on a Friday night in Boston traffic to get to New Hampshire to support him from Brockton. It's going to be exciting to see him when he returns to his hometown at some point. But, guys, I am telling you, do not let the looks deceive you. I have been in the <laughs> corner against Braleo. This guy can fight. No, and to go along with what you're saying, Chris, anytime you hear a guy that was on the World, uh, World Series of Boxing t team, means he was not just one of his countries, but one of the world's premier amateurs in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Kevin Walsh is going to go right at him here. Yeah. He went from a very high-level amateur career, and things come. You know, he got involved in the Army. He spent 10 years in the Mexican Army. He is now a teacher, oh. if you can believe it, when he's not fighting. Walsh, go, Walsh going for the head early, and we know about Kevin Walsh. Is, uh, he, he'll check and see how you're, uh, see if you're willing to trade with them and stay in he with will. them. Otherwise, he'll go for that first-round knockout. has no problem. I'm going to throw something at you guys to think about. His one performance where he did not look good and did not get his opponent out was against Carlos Galindo, <laughs> uh, a perennial loser around here, but a tricky, awkward, strange fighter. Well, and Bruleo is a high-level version of Carlos Galindo. He knows how to survive. He knows every trick in the book. He'll throw some punches. I think it could be a very interesting fight. I, I will say Walsh did set the, I think set a record for widest uh, points win in a four-rounder. Yeah, yeah. He knocked yeah, he uh, Galindo knocked down, down 35 six, times. Uh, six times and yeah. uh, three-point deductions. Right, yeah. <laughs> that fight. The Braulio. But do you see the natural timing of Braulio? Yeah. That's, that's instinctive stuff. You know what I'm talking neither, about, Sean? I, I do, Chris. And neither guy has really established their timing yet. And um, I, I feel like Kevin is just looking for a big right hand right now. He's got a great jab that he showed in the blocking fight. And if there's one thing I'm going to say from looking at what I'm saying right now is where is Kevin Walsh's body attack? Yeah. That's one of the first places you should be going. And he just got caught on a counter by Bruleo. Uh, Bruleo does not have a lot of pop. We have to be honest about that. But he will touch you up in between your shots if you're sloppy in there. Let me give you a quick idea of who the guys Avila fight. Listen to some of these names, Sean, that, that Avila's fight. fought. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you just as a quickly run down his opponents. Alejandro Polino, 6-0 entering the fight. Nicholas Sullivan, 3-0. Eric Mondr Mondragon, 3-0-1. Tyree Jones, 4-0. Chris Reyes, 9-0. Donald Smith, 10-1. Rudy Choa, <laughs> 8-0. You kind of get the idea that this guy will fight anybody, and usually they're like Kevin Walsh undefeated and they want to see you know test their skills yeah he always gets the tough young prospects and the ones that can stop him tend to go on to be world level contenders what happened with him and rudy chris did rudy stop him or did he beat him by decision beat him by decision uh rudy was frustrated to the gills by every trick that uh bruleo used in there you know he survived he survived the fight rudy won a dominant decision but rudy's a great great fighter out of the gym that i work out of knuckleheads and ventura you've been in the ring against him yes and uh you know him and Brule it was a pretty interesting fight. I gotta say, I, I yeah, Brule has got footwork that you know you you learn that over time. Yeah, <laughs> you know you're the, the the how comfortable he is in there against a killer like Kevin Walsh is just you can't teach that. You know, little blood coming from the nasal Brule. Kevin a little more poised in this fight than some of his other fights. He's I not think, rushing in, yep. taking I, his time. I think he realizes I, that hey, I can't just go in there and. You know, bomb this guy out. I'm going to have to use that jab. I'm going to have to move my hands a bit. I noticed the same thing. And and I just noticed something, though, in the fight, though, in that last round. Um, it was a Kevin Walsh round by activity and whatnot. But nobody really landed a significant punch the whole round. 
Yeah. No. Yeah, I, I agree with that. There wasn't that big uh, eye-opening shot. I mean, I think Kevin clearly won it. So, yeah, Walsh but, round. No, Walsh round. But, yeah, as you said, uh, there, there isn't uh, I, I, I wasn't uh, blown, a, blown away by anything particularly. Mm. Nothing, that, nothing that was too memorable. So, yeah, once again, Boston Boxing Promotions, thank you for joining us here on Combat Sports Now. Now! Kevin, Kevin Walsh repping Brockton, Massachusetts, home of Bro uh, Mar Rocky Marciano, Marvin Hagler, and Cape Cod uh, Brockton-style pizza at the Cape Cod Cafe. Let's not forget Robbie Sims. Robbie Sims. Former world title challenger. My, my Brother of Marvin Hagler. My and dad went to high school in Brockton, so, you know. Uh. <laughs> and, Tony, and Tony Petronelli. There you go. I fought with Fred right. Benitez. Ooh! Oh, Balio! Balio got, got caught! And uh, Walsh, but, but, oh, and he's nice down. knockdown for Walsh. Beautiful. That's the Kevin Walsh we have seen in the past. Brolio got caught. He's smiling. He knows it. Let's see if he can hang on here because Walsh is going to come out of him. Walsh is a nice finisher, Walsh too. Walsh will finish you. Right. He is Guys, a bull. That type of explosiveness makes people want to watch yeah. Kevin Walsh. He's an exciting fighter. There's no doubt about it. it yeah. Man, was that explosive. Kevin Walsh scores knockdowns. <laughs> that yeah. is what he does yeah. well. But he has a certain poise about him and excitement that you know the fight could end at any time. And that's what's going to make him, I think, a very popular fighter in this area. Absolutely. Chris. I had to total up all of his knockdowns, but he scored. Oh! oh. Another knockdown. That Kevin Wallace has knocked down his opponents nine times in the that, last three fights. That right uppercut almost lifted him off his feet, certainly knocked him off his feet. Blood flowing from Avila's nose. And the referee oh. stop it. I think it's the right call, though. You think so? That Do knockdown you? was hard. That was a hard knockdown, man. I don't think... It was gonna. And I know Chris Sullivan is disappointed. It was his guy. I get it. Yeah. But that was that was a this, rough. This knockout. crowd is rocking. This place just came alive. Yeah. And you know what? All credit to Kevin Walsh. Like I discussed earlier, high level guys stop Bruleo. Yes. Only high level fighters. And, and he stopped him one round faster than, than Alejandro, Alejandro Polino, Polino, the who guy. Who is one of the hottest young prospects in New England? Yeah, absolutely. And that's saying something right there. I think Alejandro Polino is. One heck of a prospect. Yeah, I, yeah. I, like I said, Kevin Walsh. He made a statement tonight. Fights. Yeah. To, I, he always. I think he always fights to make a statement. I, I. I really see the improvement. But this is an explosive fighter. I want to see him again, uh, and he delivered for his fans tonight. You know, Gray. It's whenever, whenever you see a fight, and you you say to yourself, "I want to see the guy fight again." That's the case right now with me oh, and Kevin yeah. Walsh, yeah. and they haven't even announced the... the it's the, the ultimate the, compliment when you say, I want to see him again. And when it happens yeah. that fast. Yeah, yeah. This really could be one of Boston Boxing's breakout fighters uh, in, the, in the coming months, uh, and it's Kevin Walsh. I yeah, know his management's I, keeping him very active. The Cappiello brothers, uh, they've been in boxing a very long time. They know they know talent. Yeah, uh, and, and I, they're bringing in the type of fighters that are going to test him. Yes. Like... And that's important. Yeah, I, I, you well said. I, I, yeah, Braulio is definitely a good test, and he passed it with flying yeah. colors tonight. I, I mean, if you guys know how I was talking about it. And I've seen him in the ring. I've been in the corner against him. Uh, I, I thought we were going to see a couple more rounds out of it, and that is a complete credit to Kevin Walsh. And look, yeah. I, I agree. I know Volley. He's only improving. Uh, Avila could have continued. I, I agree with you. I think it, I think he could should have been given maybe a little bit more but of a chance. But he probably would have been stopped shortly there. But too. I yeah. just don't think it would have turned out very yeah. well. Yeah. That second knockdown especially. And uh, Kevin Walsh is hard. exciting, huh? Whew. And uh, he's only getting better. That's he's what's he's great about it. And uh, he got a little excited there when he got him hurt, but then he got a little distance to find that beautiful right uppercut. I am very, the back-to-back -back times, I have been extremely impressed by Kevin Walsh. Because Walsh's. the last fight, he was forced to go the distance against a fellow undefeated fighter. Yeah. So he's now fought in an undefeated fighter, and now he's fought in a crafty veteran. That's that's impressive. And that, a naturally bigger guy in Nate Balakin, mm -hmm. who he was able to put on the canvas twice. Yeah, he's really only had one performance that made people question him, and that was the Galindo fight. Even though he was dominant in it, it's just the Galindo's right, the type right. of guy most people get out of there. But maybe at an off night, this is a great performance for him. Dare I say, breakout performance, uh, Sean, in in the Boston, New England area, and uh, oh, he's got I a lot so. of fans here tonight, and, man. And just judging by how the crowd erupted, uh, uh, I think I think yeah. he's got skills. Yeah. Like exciting, fan-friendly style, and I also think he's got a. I mean, he's, he's got a great fan base. He's got a fan base. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a style say, like that that's yeah. going to grow. This guy is bringing fans and in. He keeps I exceeding mean, expectations. If you put him closer to his hometown, 
It, nope. is a, it would be interesting to see Wouldn't what he could do. Fun? Yeah. I, 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 I think uh, Brockton might have uh, its next, uh, you know, name that we want to follow yeah. in boxing. He's got Bro Brockton's been looking for a good quality fighter to get behind for a I while. Know, yep. You know, they've had a lot of guys from there, but no one's really had that excitement to electrify the city. And he's a likable guy with the fan-friendly style. Mm. This, this could be something here. All right, we are... And, and the incomparable Art Nolan, longtime commissioner from New Hampshire, Art, Art, clearly is excited. Art sneaking in a mark he, wants, he wants a picture with that one. <laughs> if there was Hall of Fames for great human beings, Art should be in it. Yeah. Art's the man. Let's go to Pete Zimbor. Time of stoppage. Yeah. 